Hello everyone, today we are going to study about disease epidemiology and under this topic we will be looking at disease, plant diseases, economic importance of plant disease, disease triangle, disease cycle, epidemiology and its importance, basic classification of plant disease. Before understanding epidemiology, it is important for us to understand what disease really means. Therefore, we are going to define a disease. A plant disease is usually defined as abnormal growth and or dysfunction of a plant caused by a biotic or an abiotic factor. According to the University of Nebraska, anything that prevents a plant from performing to its maximum potential is known as a plant disease. Plant diseases can be caused by both living and non-living factors, therefore they are classified accordingly as biotic disease and abiotic disease. A biotic disease is also referred to as infectious disease caused by living organisms, example bacterial wilt, blight, and blast. Abiotic diseases are also referred to as non-infectious diseases. They are also known as disorders. They are caused by non-living environmental organisms, example diseases caused by unfavorable weather conditions such as extreme of high temperature or low temperature, Diseases caused by nutritional deficiencies, example deficiency in nitrogen in plants lead to yellowing of the plants. Excess salt or salt injury or toxic chemicals can also cause economic importance of a plant disease. Diseases are important to humans because they can cause damage to the plants and plant products which are commonly associated with economic effect, either in a positive or a negative way. Negative economic effects include crop failure, incremental loss from lower quality or failure to meet market standards, elimination of crop options because of disease propagate buildup, the cost of control methods. On the other side, plant diseases can also lead to positive for they may lead to the creation of new industries to develop control measures or create employment opportunities. Disease Triangle Diseases develop as a result of the interaction between three most important components, which are a susceptible host plant, a virulent pathogen, and a favorable environmental condition. Other factors that are related to the three most important factors are genetic diversity, biology, and life cycle of the host plant and pathogen, and the environmental conditions. As illustrated by the diagram, even if the environmental conditions are favorable and pathogen are virulent, if the host plant is resistant against the pathogen, then the disease will not occur. Disease development factors. We will be looking at some of the examples of pathogen, host and environmental factors that contribute to disease development. Pathogen factor. Degree of damage caused by a pathogen depends on the virulence of the pathogen, inoculum type, whether they are sexually or asexually produced, inoculum quantity, the higher the quantity of an inoculum, the higher probability of disease infection. Dispersal potential. Pathogen propagules are transmitted through air, water, soil, and vectors, and depending on which mode of trans transmission it has assumed, the degree of disease development will vary accordingly. Airborne propagules are probably the most important because they can be easily spread and also to a larger distance, whereas the soil-borne and the seed-borne pathogens can cause severe diseases, however they remain localized. Inoculum potential refers to the energy of the pathogen at the point of infection which is available to overcome host plant's resistance or defense mechanism. It can be increased by increasing the inoculum quantity per unit area of the host surface or by increasing the energy of each propagule or unit. Host range. Distance between the inoculum source and the host also will also determine the development of the diseases. For example, the further apart the inoculum source and the host are, the lesser probability of disease development and vice versa. Reproductive cycles such as monocyclic or 
or polycyclic will also determine the development of a disease. Alternation between the host host factor. The response of the host to an invading pathogen contributes in determining the impact and severity of the resulting disease. Host resistance can range from extreme susceptibility to complete resistance. Autogenic resistance are age-related. As the plant matures, the resistance against a pathogen also increases. It can also be organ-specific as well, such as creative resistance. The defense mechanism in the plant is already present prior coming in contact with, for example, hair on the leaves or thorn or thick cuticle are some of the defense mechanisms. Whereas for the induced resistance, the host and the pathogen has to come in contact with each other for the activation of defense mechanism in the plant. For example, re release of certain toxic compounds by the host as a response to the invading pathogen. Resistance can be vertical or horizontal, it can be systemic or localized. But, um, a plant may exhibit defense mechanism against the pathogen throughout its path, whereas for localized, certain parts of the plants may exhibit some kind of defense mechanism against the invading pathogen. Host genetic uniformity factor. Disease is ultimately a synchronization of different biological events affected by environmental factors. Environmental factors include both atmospheric and soil factors, such as humidity and temperature being the most important factors. Other abiotic factors, such as soil nutrient status and pH. Environmental factors can stress the host plant, thereby leaving less energy to allocate to resistance, which can make it more susceptible to necrotrophic trophic organisms. However, stress does not always favor disease development. For example, biotrophic organisms normally cause less extensive disease on stressed host. Disease cycle. Every infectious disease requires a series of sequential events for development. This series of events is known as disease cycle. The general chain of events involved in disease development are inoculation. When the pathogen and the host first comes in contact with each other. Penetration. The pathogen may enter the host through penetrating cells, natural openings such as stomata or through. They may also form a specialized structure such as episodia or infection pack to penetrate the host. Infection. Infection. It occurs when the pathogen invades the plant tissue and establishes a parasitic relationship between itself and the host. Incubation. Pathogen may undergo an incubation period before initiating disease. Incubation period means the time between the infection and the first appearance of the symptoms. Reproduction. They can reproduce sexually or asexually depending on the pathogen. Survival survival of the pathogen from one plant to the nether to the nether or from one season to the next will depend on what kind what kind of survival mode it assumes. For example, it can live on the plant residue, it can live inside the seed or in the soil. Completion of these series of events is one generation of the pathogen and depending on the pathogen can be repeated before the growing season ends. Types of disease cycle Generally, the disease cycle can be classified as monocyclic or polycyclic. Monocyclic pathogens have a maximum of one generation per growing season as we, as we have seen in the diagram. Environmental conditions or other physical factors prevent repeating events until the next growing season. For example, particillium wilt and several other soil-borne diseases. Pathogens complete more than one generation per growing season and therefore they are able to reproduce and infect additional healthy plants during that current growing season. Style of infection. Style of infection. During the colonization phase, the pathogen either as a biotrope 
are necrotrophs. Nitrophs obtain their nutrients from living cells, therefore they keep the host viable during the colonization phase. They typically produce specialized structure, example hosteria, cause limited damage to the cell, target fast growing plants, and have limited host plants, example rust and powdery mildews. Necrotrophs obtain their nutrients from dead cells. They must kill the host before they colonize. Some do not have a specialized structure, therefore they enter the host tissue through wounds and cause severe symptoms. Target weakened plants usually have wide range of host. Example, blight and damping off. G is the study of population of pathogen the population of host and the resulting disease under the influence of environmental and human factors. Or it can also be defined as the study of the occurrence and cause of infectious disease, their origin and distribution in space and time within a population, or as the study of factors that affect the spread of disease in time and space. When we do understand disease development, the most frequently asked questions are what kind of pathogen is causing the disease, where did it come from, how was it dispersed, and how will the disease spread, both in the short term as well as in the long term. Importance of epidemiology. Epidemiology can be used to determine and describe factors that lead to disease outbreak, provide data for planning and management of disease. Basic classification of plant disease. Classification of plant disease based on occurrence and distribution. Epidemic, endemic, sporadic, endemic. Epidemic, disease which occur widely but periodically in a severe form involving major area of the crop is known as epidemic disease. It may be constantly present in the locality but assume severe form occasionally. Example, rust, late blight, mildew, endemic. A disease is more or less constantly prevalent from year to year in a moderate to severe form in a particular ge geographical region, for example, in a country, a dist district, or a locality. Example, potato ward in Bhutan. Sporadic. Diseases which occur at irregular interval and location in a moderate to severe form. Example, leaf blights and wilt. Endemic diseases. The diseases occurring throughout the country, continent, or world resulting in mass mortality or damages. Example, late blight of potato.